We get sap on the trunk. And there, there is a lot of them right there. Got a nice little rat red here before I go put him on the measuring stick, which he looks pretty good. I'm going to turn the boat around because in the winter time, when you're fishing reds, where you hit one, you're going to hit several more times than not. So I don't want the wind to blow me up where I caught that fish while I talk to you guys and go ahead and measure this fish as I'm just put on that tiger bait matrix. That is one of my absolute favorite marsh, wintertime marsh baits. And this is one of my favorite things to do as we're fishing some ditches that are connecting some uh, duck ponds here. So I'm throwing it way down this bayou, relatively shallow to begin with. And then it's going to come off a slight little slope. Oh, there he was slight little slope and there there is a lot of them right there I mean talk about fun one of my absolute favorite things to do you can just catch fish one after the other once you find them they're not too big to where they wear you out it's the perfect perfect size great for the grill just big enough to where that fights extremely entertaining and I'm telling you, it's hard to beat that tiger bait matrix deep in the marsh when you're catching redfish like this. All right, where that, right where I just threw for the last one. Got the boat positioned, threw right back in there, popped it once, maybe twice, bam. So there's a good little school right there. This is extremely common for wintertime, deep in the marsh. That one, that one's gonna be a little short, probably. They're all real close. That last one I caught was a keeper. That one was close. I'm gonna throw it right back where I'm throwing. See if they, how big this school is. It's got bouncing that, there he is, bouncing that tiger bait. You Right here in these little ditches like this, a 5 16 is a great size jig head. Whether you want to use the screw lock golden eye or just a regular golden eye. Uh, that one, that one's maybe a little bit bigger. Let me put this one on the measuring stick. So these are one of my favorite fish to eat. And they're all right at that 16 inch mark. So I definitely want to keep a few if I can. Got a couple keepers, a couple throwbacks. Let's see what this is. All right, so what we're fishing right now is a skinny ditch that connects a couple really, really big duck ponds. And what happens is it's pretty cold today. We had a really big front. The water's falling very, very hard. Now it's not super, super low, but it is falling hard to where I can jump some shallow ponds to get into the deeper little ditches or trenasses where the ponds empty into. So whenever those reds feel that water falling extremely hard, they kind of get a sense to get out of them little duck ponds and get into the deeper canals. And that's what they're doing right now. And you know, these little ditches used to have tons of bass in them. We've had such a salty year. The 
bass are kind of on the struggle. We've caught a few bass today, but these little rat rat reds have really taken over, and I'm really really excited to see just how many rat reds are hanging out around here right now. This shouldn't take long. Pop pop pop. Pop pop pop. Pop pop pow. Pop pop pow. Gazillions of them right there. Gazillions of them. All you want. All the red fish you want. Yes, sir. I mean, as fun as it can get. Got a little ditch coming out right here. Maybe that's making a fallen tide. Press into the other side of the bank. But there's something magical going on right up there when I'm throwing. Because that's where all these guys are wanting to be. This looks like this is another one for the box. I had two bites on that cast. They didn't grab it. Let me get it right back in there. Get it right back in there. Come on, Betsy. Where are you at? You want to play? Come on. I'm in your house. I'm in your wheelhouse. In your wheelhouse. Uh oh, this one is a little bit bigger. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice one here. Even though them smaller ones are the ones I really like to eat. This is a good fish. Well, maybe he's not quite as big as I thought he was. But, nevertheless, another one. Got a limit already. I mean, right next to the boat. Right next to the boat. What an epic winter day. I hope you guys really got to enjoy this episode as much as I enjoyed catching these fish. Caught at least, I don't know, 10, 15 reds in a very short period of time. Got our five keepers. Most of these fish were just over 16 inches, which is the limit right now. Keep five of these in Louisiana. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box as we'll be giving out one of our favorites, the old tiger bait, in this month's subscription box. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hadn't done a whole lot of red fishing this year so far, but got plenty of YouTube videos of doing it. And here's another good one to show you guys just how fun, you know, wintertime red fishing in South Louisiana can be. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, good fishing. See you later, little guy.